Hey everybody, it's Colorful Artie back for more Paper Mario. So, we actually are going to finish Shy Guy's Toy Box today, unless I can't. But I'm not going to go out of my way to do more side quests. So, you can see the track is still broken and there are these four blocks here. Yeah, more into that in, oh, in a bit. Ooh boy, Super Soda. Alright, so this area is kind of interesting. Use bow to go through that fence. Ooh, four shy guys. Let's star storm the heck out of them. Dane, only one star point apiece. And we get the mystery note. You can't read this. Show it to someone who is very smart. So, Luigi. Aw, oh, darn it. My money! Oh yeah, the Shy Guy slot machine. Woo, one coin. It's really not worth doing that a lot. I didn't know you could jump on their pebbles that they shoot. Oh no, I should not have done Star Storm at this time. Well, I've got some items, so let's try Stopwatch first. Excellent. Okay, what I like about it in Paper Mario Thousand Year Door more than the first one is in Paper Mario 1, most of the status effects you can do give to enemies are just, like, the same, where it's like, they can't attack for several turns. Like, sleep, time stop, uh, being dizzy, all that has the exact same effect. Whereas in Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, they actually differentiated between those two. Like, in that, it's like, stop time does the, what it does in this, but, like, being dizzy just makes you miss attacks more. Um, and then sleep also makes you unable to move. However, once you take damage, you can wake up and attack again. Thank you, Stopwatch. Thank you, Bo. Goodbye, Medi Guy. At least Spy Guys still give me a lot of star points. Er, well, two. I really do need to use up these items. Alright. So there's this block area. Get up Paracarry, you'll need him. We can get a nice little star piece in here, as well as a few coins. Oh, that's right, there's a block up there. Oh man, it's just, just one of those coin blocks, that's right. Paracarry can help you in this area. Alright, fly! And we get a super soda, and if we open this chest... We get the dictionary, the scholar Russ T's dictionary. Return it to him. You know, I almost forgot about him. So the game's like, you're supposed to give him the dictionary before he can, uh, decipher the note for you. And the note is, like, kind of needed to go forward, except... There is actually a way to go forward without deciphering the note if you played this before. So, there was one playthrough I did where I literally did not give Rusty his dictionary back until, like, the very end of the game. It was kind of funny. I, like, totally forgot I even had it, and then I talked to him, and he's like, Oh my goodness, that is my dictionary! <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Back to Blue Station, everybody. Oops. 
Station, blue station. Woot. Ah, boy. Ah, boy. Bwah, bwah, bwah. Ah, boy. I need to clear up more room in my storeroom, so... Four more items? Cool. Let's see, maple super for one. Hmm. No, not buy. That's right, you gotta go all the way down. I'm taking out some of these, like, super shrooms. I still need one in here, but I don't need more than one. And, uh, yeah. You know what? I am going to fight that, um... Ah, uh, what's the name? I'm gonna fight the gray shy guy guarding the chest. And I'll show you just how dangerous he is. And I'm not going to use Repel Gel. How about that? Okay, well, I totally forgot to go to Rusty. Whoops. I think that's actually the fastest way to travel is wait till just the right moment of your speedy spin, then jump out of it. Hey, Rusty. Curses, Mario! A shy guy stole my dictionary. Please get it back from him. I'm I'm losing IQ points. My dictionary. How oh, wonderful words. Many thanks, Mario. And he gives you a star piece. Hey, we got this note. You'd like me to translate this note for you? Let's see. Aha, it seems to be written in the language of the Shy Guys. Let's see here. Yes, accents. Hmm, silent. D. Hmm. Yes, it says, hit yellow, green, red, and then blue. What an odd thing to write down. Any idea what it's about? Yellow, green, red, blue. YGRB. Alright, now we are going to fight the Grey Shy Guy. Well, he still gives us a lot of star points. He's, he's really dangerous. One of the hardest bosses in the game. Especially if you fight him now. Okay, I was not trying to do that. Let's see. I'm gonna equip some badges for him. Zap tap will be nice. So will Dodge Master. That looks good. Hmm? What do you want? Get away from that treasure chest, pal. It's mine, see? Don't mess with me. You want to fight? Are you nuts? You don't want to mess with me. Are you sure you want to fight? Yep. What? Well, all right. I do love a challenge. Here it comes, pal. Don't say I didn't warn you. I don't remember all the hearts in his text. That's kind of weird. Yes, yeah, so you notice I'm electric now, which is what the Vulture does. This is an anti-guy. His attacks are so intense that he's also called Deadly Guy. 
Max HP 50. Oh, I thought he only had 40 HP. Uh oh. Attack power 10, defense power 0. His attack power is 12 when he does an acrobatic attack, so dodge it. This guy is for real, so we'd better take him seriously. Yes, we'd better. Let's use the stone cap. Let's start by charging. We need to hit him hard. Wow. <laughs> That's what Pretty Lucky does. Oh no, that did not last nearly as long as I wanted it to. Oh boy, let's try a dizzy dial. I hope he becomes dizzy, but I don't think he will. <gasps> he did! Only two turns, but still. Oh yeah. Let's charge! Well, I mean, we might as well try another dizzy dial while we're here. Dane! I'm liking this. <laughs> Just trust me, jump charge is ridiculously broken. So is Gumbario's charge. Alright. Let's bounce. That was pretty good. Oh. Oh, goodbye, anti-guy. <laughs> That is not as many star points as I expected to get from him, but alright. And in this chest, we get the Power Plus badge, increases Mario's jump and hammer attack power by one. Unfortunately, that takes 6 BP to equip. Alright, enough dawdling, let's go to... well, let's go back to Green Station. Where would you like to go? Green Station, please. I am surprised I managed to... I did a no damage on Anti-Guy. I literally never took damage. That's the power of a few items and the jump charge. Alright. Yellow. Green, red, blue. That fixes the track. If you don't do it in the right order, it'll, they'll uh, make Shy Guys appear. So, that's fun. Okay, I know there's an invisible block. And you know what? We're about to get the thing that lets us see the invisible block. So, let's just go to Red Station. We're leaving all aboard. Okay, dizzy dials are underrated. Red station, red station. Thank you for that. We want to go this way first. Ooh, there's money up there. And we all know Artie's a huge sucker for money. Check it out. Deep focus badge, we get another one. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah. Stop storm. You've been a very bad boy. Woot. 
money, money, money. Always sunny. In a rich man's world. Wee hee hee hee! Someone has come. Someone is here in the dark. Wee hee hee! Oh, could it be? Wee hee hee hee! It's Mario! Looks like you're mine, Mario. Wee hee! I won't let you go anywhere. It's the mini boss! Wee hee hee! I'll take care of you quickly, then return to my darkness. I hate the light. That's why I carry a lantern of light. So, I'll take you with me to the deep dark. So, we can't even attack the guy, we have to attack his lantern. And that'll lighten up the room a little bit. Now we can tattle on the big lantern ghost. This is a big lantern ghost. He avoids attacks by hiding in the dark. Max HP 40, attack power 5, defense power 0. Your friends, like <coughs> me, will also be damaged when he does his flash attack. The flash attack's power is 2. Hit the lantern many times to make it brighter, then you'll be able to attack him. As soon as you can see, hit him right in the head. Oh, ow, that light! It's so bright! This is no good. Here, darker and darker. So you know what the key to hitting that lantern to max brightness is? It's bow. Max brightness! Oh, nice! That is hard to defend against. But because I did bows back in the game? Alright, let's smack this guy. You go, Bo! He still hasn't done his main attack. Make sure you don't constantly attack the lantern, as you really don't need to. There we go! That's what I was waiting for. Smack, 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 slap, 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 slap. Man, this guy's taking longer than Anti-Guy to beat. I still have to use my egg, egg missile. Give me my refund. Oh. Oh, man. Sorry, Bo. That does not look pleasant. Actually, I guess he kind of does his uh, attacks kind of in a sequence, where he'll he'll basically do blow out the lantern, lantern attack, blow out the lantern, and then stomp on your head, rinse and repeat. Goodbye, big lantern ghost. No double star points. No. Hi, Mister. I'm Watt. Can I um get out of here? <laughs> Yay, I got out! Yay for me! Thanks, mister! Hey, aren't you, um, Mario? You just saved me like a hero! You're a hero, aren't you? You're the coolest! You saved me from the mean guy who laughed like, wee hee hee! I gotta make it up to you! I'll go with you, Mario, okay? I heard the, um, shy guy saying that you're trying to save Princess Peach from Bowser. You're super great! You're the greatest great guy! I think you're the best! So, um, I really want to help. I'll be good, really. Watt joined your party. Press down C to have her illuminate the area around you. With her light, you can see invisible blocks, too. While in battle, she can shock enemies with Electro Dash or paralyze them with sh Power Shock. Oh, it's pretty dark, huh? I kind of like the dark. But, um, now I can show you how helpful I can be, okay? Use my power, okay? 
Wow, pretty cool, huh? Look, it's so bright now! Tee hee hee! I bet nobody else can help you like that, huh? Can they? Nope! Now, let's go! <laughs> Watt's one of my favorite po uh, partners in the game. Mainly because, yeah, see? Invisible block here. And we get a snowman doll. Mainly because Watt's attack, like, her, she only actually has one attack that can actually damage enemies, and that's her main one. But that attack pierces defense. Well, have to upgrade Watt. So we never even get to see Watt at level 1. Watt's upgraded to super rank. Yeah, and just trust me, there are invisible blocks everywhere in Shy Guys Toy Box. And, uh, and uh, quite a few other places in the uh, game. Hi, Pyro Guy! Oh, this is not good, actually. You know what, I'll use a snowman doll. Jingle, 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 yeah. So I'll show off Watt. So she's got Electro Dash, that's penetrating defense power with, that can attack an enemy. Power Shock will paralyze an enemy with an electric shock. That works exactly the same as, um... Stopwatches, Sleepy Sheep, all that. And then Turbo Charge, which boosts Mario's attack power for a short time. I like Electro Dash. One thing about Watt, if she touches anything like fire, she's out, so... Just hold A and then release it at the right time. Oh no. I forgot I unequipped Quake Hammer. Goodbye, Pyro Guy. But like enemies of spikes, walk can deal with that no problem. Invisible block there. Voltrum. Nice. Another Super Shroom. But yeah, you can see Watt's power is pretty great. Alright, we're going back to Blue Station. We're going back to Blue Station. We're leaving all aboard. I think our little track problem will be fixed if you pull down on that lever. Or maybe not, I'm not sure. Hmm, to pull or not to pull. Um, we pull. Well, I'll be, just as I suspected. We should have moved that lever a long time ago. Yeah, you really should have. Station stop, blue station! Yeah, Watt is such a great partner. That was a weird way to say partner. Alright, let's see my items. Oh, sweet, I can still carry quite a few. Oh yeah, because I used a ton of them against anti-guy slash the big lantern ghost. Alright, we're going to red station. Gotta finish this area up. Station stop, Red Station! Welcome to Red Station, passengers! Alright, let's go this way. Okay, then. Any invisible blocks? Nope. It's your time to shine, Bombette! I like that animation there. I love the little sounds Shy Guys make. Ooh, invisible block. But there's only one coin in it. Now 
Now we can use Cooper to get ourselves a nice shooting star. Oh, hi. No thanks. Run, run for it! Where? Help me! All right, let's get out Gumbario. So, you came, did you? I'm General Guy. I'm, we're following the orders of King Bowser by guarding a star spirit. As long as we keep it secure, we have permission to do whatever we want, you hear? I don't care for you, sir. You are rude, and furthermore, you're trespassing in here. Our toy box is off limits to the likes of you. The treasures inside this box are for Shy Guys only. And that Star Spirit's fate is none of your business. Prepare to fight me, sir. Taste defeat! CHARGE! Also, General Guy has great music. Okay, guys, all together now. Let's rush him! Charge! It's a shy squad. Lots of titles in this fight. This is the Shy Squad. It'll attack us with all its members at once. Max HP 15, attack power 1, defense power 0. The number of times we're attacked will equal the number of Shy Guys in the squad. Its attack power is huge when there are many guys, but it drops for each one that falls. Let's use an attack that does tons of damage so we can decrease their numbers and increase our chances. Dang! That was like... That was 11 damage. Luckily, we've got some Super Shrooms. There are only three left, yeah. We're gonna lose! Oh no, we gotta run! Wait! Stand your ground, men! Now's not time for cowards! I will not abide deserters! You men make me sick! We must protect the toy box! Am I the only one with guts? Oh, okay. That... That's pretty awesome. Mario, you, sir, will pay. You beat my infantry, but that's all you'll do. Prepare yourself for the next wave! Go! Attack stilt, guys! Fight, fight, fight! Yes, sir! Right away, sir! Those stilt guys. Alright, it's time to eat a super shroom. This is stilt guy. Yes, as the name suggests, stilt guys are shy guys on stilts. I mean, it seems pretty obvious to me. Max HP 7, attack power 4, defense power 0. If you attack them by shaking the ground, they'll fall off their stilts and become normal shy guys. Ah, oh, shoot. I did not equip, like, a lot of the badges I wanted to. Like, I was gonna equip Quick Change and Smash Charge. Grrr! Unbelievable! I guess it's time for my special battalion! There is a Shy Guy in his tank. Ho 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 ho! I pity you, sir! It's time you paid, Mario! Attack! Yes, sir! We're gonna power smash this shy stack. They have 10 HP. Or 8 HP, I forget. But they deal a lot of damage. This is a good battle to use your super shrooms. This is a shy stack. Whoa, this pile has an incredible sense of balance. Look at that stack. 
Max HP 10, attack power 1, defense power 0. Its attack power equals the number of Shy Guys in the stack. It'll be 4 if there are 4 Shy Guys stacked up. If you have the Spin Hammer ability, you can knock them off one by one. Nice, I didn't know that. Obviously, their attack power decreases when there are fewer of them in the stack. So I guess spin smashes, good for one thing. Good about a shy stack. Da! Yeah, fine, I'll beat you myself! Nobody embarrasses the brave shy guys of my army! Nobody! So this is kind of an interesting fight. This is General Guy in his tank. The tank seems to be dangerous, even though it's a toy. Max HP 30, attack power 4, defense power 2. Not only does the General give the commands from the tank, but he also throws bombs and uses electric attacks. The power of his electric attack is 5, and the, your party member takes 2 damage points, so defend yourself carefully. He'll lose the electric attack if we break the light bulb. Normal fighting style seems ineffective because the tank is well fortified. Alright, well we're gonna do is switch to Watt, because Watt pierces his defense and is immune to the electric attack. Do I have to tattle on the bulb as well? I forget. Nope. Well, that was stupid of me. He's not using the bulb attack at all, though. Let's destroy it before he can. Never mind. Yeah, Watt, because she's electric, is immune to that. I don't think a Sleepy Sheep would work against him. I'll be honest, I really don't think that'll happen. Goodbye, light bulb. Huh, should I use... Yeah, I'll use Turbo Charge. Oh, just by one? Oh, that stinks! Oh, for four turns, though, that's pretty good, I guess. Grrr, that hurt! Where'd you learn to fight? You must be cheating! Well, kind of. Grrr, my high-tech tank defenses don't seem to stand up to that electric attack! Quit doing that! It's, it's too powerful! You're breaking the rules of war! Well, I mean, if, if you wanted, I could get out Bombette and do some more damage. I like how this fight is divided up into multiple waves. It really makes him a unique boss. Also, I should, it should be noted that Watt's attack is kind of all or nothing. Either you deal max damage or you deal one damage. And yes, I'm going to eat another Super Shroom, even though I can kill him with Watt, just because I want the refund and I need to clear up more item space. Goodbye, General Guy. Thirty-four star points! I was really, really hoping for double star points there. <laughs> Even he's making that high-pitched scream. It's great. Yay! Yippee! We beat the Shy Guys! <laughs> you weren't so tough, you silly old Shy Guys. I beat him up. Didn't I, Mario? You really beat up General Guy. Oh, yes. We get probably my favorite Star Spirit in terms of personality, but my least favorite in terms of ability here. End of chapter. 
To save the 4th Star Spirit Muscular, Mario and the team disbanded the gain of Shy Guy's Tufts. Slowly, it seems as if the Life Force is returning to the once bleak night sky. But the stars won't truly shine until the Star Rod is wrested from Gr Bowser's evil grasp. Three Star Spirits still await rescue. Where in the world are they being held? And that's where we're going to leave it for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Arnie. Tune in for the next episode. We'll be playing as Peach and then going back to playing as Mario. Have a great day and God bless.